We turned it down because... Are you recording? Cars have for more than 10 years. So to start off this video, for those of you who aren't aware of what South by Southwest is, it dedicates itself to helping creative people achieve their goals. It was founded in 1987 in Austin, Texas. South by Southwest is best known for its conference and festivals that celebrate the convergence of tech, film, music, education, and culture. It is a great way to network, find opportunities, and just admire the work of other people. So I'm gonna jump right into day one of South by Southwest and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I got my opportunity to work for South by Southwest through my university and basically we worked on the content creation team. We covered the conference, film, and TV and music festivals for the South by Southwest brand and marketing content team. This is a little time lapse that I created on our first day. We started the day at the convention center and then we found a table to just sit down, take our laptops out and kind of get ready before our first session. So our team was given the platinum badge, which allows all access to the music, film and tech industry events. At that time, right before South By, it was around $2,000, but I know that right now they are having a pre-sale where this is the current price for the 2024 Platinum Badge. This is the price for a Music Badge, Education Badge, and the Interaction Badge. Anyone and everyone can do this. You can apply on their website for volunteer opportunities, and there's so many types of different crews you can choose to be on. and sheep can help, but they're not necessary. And this is Salasabi Similon Sieta, the famed Liberty Cat. Um, it's exquisite little fruiting here. It's got a translucent striate margin. You can see the striations, they're actually the There's a lot to be said about branding and, um, and storytelling and just having something simple and powerful to say. And we had a 1-800 on the back of the day. So let's talk about parking downtown Austin. I always tried to avoid it and I always tried to park in the South Lamar Alamo Draft House location and then I just took the shuttle from there to the Austin Convention Center. The first thing we did today was visit an exhibit called Ancestral Archives. How the exhibit worked was the more people in the room, the more green dots lit up on the screen. And if you moved closer to the screen, then more faces would pop up and the fire would grow bigger. Having this suddenly transformed your relationship with food. Suddenly you can see what the things that you're bringing to your body. After that, we waited in line for an hour and a half to go see Robert Downey Jr. What's up, Austin? How are you? South by Southwest, this is awesome. Woo! Woo! It can only go smoother from here. <laughs> That's right. After that, I ran straight to West 5th Street where they were having a comedy show with Eric Andre and a whole bunch of other comedians.
my god. stuff you know leading up um to Odyssey and Oracle but yeah but also later you know touching on the stuff really beautiful film I think and I was really moved I, see it. I have to tell you it's uh, made me tear up every time <laughs> that still is you can hear that now So today was the day where my boyfriend came into town. It was also the only day of South by Southwest where the Creative Industry Expo was free and open to the public even if you didn't have a badge. So I ended up bringing him to the Creative Industry Expo and we stayed there for hours just looking around. We got free samples and a whole bunch of free things. I had some time before my next sessions, so we just walked around and found this bar that also gave us free drinks if you're over 21. Did it in the studio. Oh, the multi track? Yes. Oh, listen, I got a chance to watch him.
Unfortunately, I didn't get to see Dungeons & Dragons because the Express Passes sold out almost immediately, so I wasn't able to get those, but I got a Express Pass to go see Parachute where Brittany Snow was the director of the movie and it was really cool to see. And luckily I was able to get close to the red carpet to get some good photos and videos of the cast of Parachute. Our last session was covering this music event called Sounds from Japan with a whole bunch of different artists coming all the way from Japan to Austin, Texas to perform and I got to see them at the Elysium venue. I wasn't too sure if I was going to get copyrighted for putting all this music in my YouTube video so that's why I'm not putting in big clips but if you wanted to see these artists I will be linking them down in the description so that y'all can listen to their music and follow their socials if you'd like. So this still shocks me that right before Lil Yachty was supposed to come onto the stage, they announced that because there is lightning within 30 miles of the stage, they cannot go forward with the show. And when I looked up, I realized that it was lightning a lot. Then it started pouring down. We all had to leave the proximity and find shelter and we were stuck there for maybe like 30 minutes until the rain stopped. For the last day, we got to see the Moss Band and the Sacred Souls and a whole bunch of other bands. Then we ended the night by walking to some bars. We ended up at Buford's. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and please consider subscribing love y'all and if you love me too like this video <laughs>